Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Tarsky Base channel in Malaysia. So check it out. The Wind Raider has finally landed in Malaysia and it's massive. A whole lot more massive than I would have expected. Now, I never really was a fan of the original vintage Wind Raider. Uh, I did have a unit once, which has now been sold off, I think. Uh, and that one was really flimsy and it cracked shockingly easily. Also, the design of the Wind Raider never really took off for me, okay? It kind of reminded me of a large single-seater bathtub that, you know, someone could just chill in and have a nice relaxing bubble bath. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? It's been so hot here recently in Malaysia, you know? Okay, but this new unit has a lot going for it to try and win me over. So let's get into checking it out, yeah? Okay, firstly, checking out the artwork on the package, and it's another sprawlingly epic action sequence. He-Man on the Wind Raider being pursued relentlessly through the skies by an army of uh, what appears to be darker versions of the Wind Raider, something that we've never seen before. Now, I can't quite make out who the pilots on these evil Wind Raiders are. Definitely Skeletor on the first one, and behind him, uh, who appears to be Faker, probably from the shockingly orange hair that we see popping out. Okay, but these look fantastic actually. And uh, you know what? I figure these are going to be turning out as variant exclusives later down the road, okay? Judging by our luck recently, right? There's just something about He Man's facial expression here in the artwork. It's just spot on, okay? This is how He Man is supposed to be determined, focused, driven. And why can't we get an Origins version of the action figure with a sculpt that looks this good? How hard can it be, right? Now, they obviously want to fill up every square inch of the cardboard package with just epic artwork. All right, just jaw broking artwork that just kind of like just takes you away from all the hardships in life. I can't make out who this character is though uh, on the top of Castle Grayskull. Firing away. Is it Roboto? Zodak? You know, just, oh yeah, who is it? Uh, a version of what appears to be an early Stratos or just a Birdman of Avion. He's probably flying uh, to make sure that He-Man doesn't crash the Wind Raider or something like that. And uh, in the clouds, uh, we see a pack of giants forming giant creatures, okay? Uh, smoke giants, I don't know, man, but they're stemming out from the clouds, okay? All right, this just looks... This packaging... It just creates more questions, all right? Just more questions. What's going on here? And then we also get the widescreen action shot on the back of the package here, all right? Just, just full-blown epic excitement, okay? The Wind Raider has landed. Now they're taking the fight to the ground. Uh, there's just so much happening here. This thing, this damn thing should be a, just a freaking poster on my wall, all right? Uh, Zodak. Uh, gearing up to take on what appears to be an evil warrior here that also looks kind of like Zodak in a way. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, this is frog creature here. Who the hell's the frog creature? Beastman. Uh, we've got He Man and Tila here. Faker hiding behind some rocks. Man at Arms, Skeletor, and a closer look at the Dark Wind Raider. I kind of like how the, the, the front portion has the Havoc Staff motif to it, you know? Check it out, right? This this thing is gonna look great for sure. Okay, <laughs> hope we're gonna get it at some point. Uh, elsewhere, artwork panels on how to operate the vehicle. Uh, these look great. Okay, uh, very clear instructions and also where you can park the Wind Raider on Castle Grayskull. Check it out. Uh, on this side, there's more artwork. Uh, some sort of a okay. I, I can't identify what this vehicle is supposed to be. Is it a prototype of the Battle Ram, Bashasaurus? Uh, yeah, but, you know, Man at Arms is taking on the lots of power versions of Merman and Beastman. And that boulder-like thing that it's in, that's supposed to be catapulted out, it kind of looks uh, it kind of looks like a virus of some kind. Don't you think so? The icon for a virus? I don't know, man, but this thing looks good. Uh, on this side, we see Zodak versus his nemesis, okay? Uh, unnamed nemesis. The green goddess waiting uh, to take on uh, this frog creature, okay, this toad creature. Who is this guy? Um, Battle toad, cyber frog. Hey, sound off in the comments, guys. You know, do you, if you know what's going on here. <laughs> now, the Wind Raider package also comes with a very nice instruction manual 
that clearly shows us how everything is supposed to fit because this thing comes unassembled in the box so yeah once you've got it all put together it's really quite big you know and uh, the diagrams are very clear okay very clear instructions on what you're supposed to do and in fact you know I was looking at these pictures here uh, this you know black and white pictures these diagrams here like especially this one here of Castle Grayskull you know when we read at the top of it and it kind of reminds me of coloring pages you know, sometimes like when you go to a fast food restaurant and, you know, they hand out these crayons and coloring pages to kids so that they don't get bored. Hey, you know what? These would completely work as coloring pages too. Now, what do you guys think? Now, here's a look at the base that the Wind Raider comes with. This has now been fully assembled. And you know what? The addition of this thing to the set just pushes up its value okay pushes up his desirability look at the sculpting of this thing we get a very castle gray skullish icon here with the skull here at the tip of the base and uh you know the entire base basically is very well put together it's very sturdy uh there's a computer console monitor type thing for characters to just stand around and press things on i suppose uh, maybe it monitors flight patterns for the wind raider but whatever it is it just looks great and um of course the base has the color scheme that matches that of Castle Grayskull, but it doesn't really connect to the castle in any way. But it was mentioned that, uh, I think it was mentioned in one of the interviews that this thing will interact with future sets, like maybe the one, the base that comes with the Vac Metal Battle Cat and He-Man set. Yeah? But you know, either way, you know, this thing here is just a fantastic addition to the whole package. Okay, now scope it out, guys. This is what your fully assembled Wind Raider is going to look like. And you know what? It's pretty much enormous. Okay. It's, it's huge. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, honestly. Okay. I thought that this thing was going to be kind of like smaller than things like the Land Shark or stuff like that. But it's just massive. All right. Yeah, they really took it to the next level with this one. I think, you know, hats off to these guys. You know, they're really giving us some of the best stuff ever in the line. So I'm going to give you guys a full... 360 view of the vehicle you know so you can just bask in its glory you know bask in its magnificence so much of the vehicle uh, is actually enhanced by the use of stickers there's a hell of a lot of stickers here and thank goodness that we don't have to apply it ourselves okay you know I freaking hate doing that um, it's a it's a single seater obviously there's handles at the side there for the figures to hold on to and uh, there's a lot of nice detailing all around but you know what without the stickers this thing would just be like uh, honestly without the stickers and the wings it would just be like a giant green container I suppose <laughs> something about this kind of reminds me of the land speeder from Star Wars you know in many ways um, on the underside of the vehicle there's some really nice detailing as well they didn't just leave it completely bare uh, we do get these translucent plastic wheels. Okay, so this thing does roll, all right? It does roll on the land and it flies through the air. Okay, so this thing seats just one action figure, all right? No, there's no room for passengers on this one. And you do kind of need the handles. Uh, the handles help to keep the action figure propped up just nicely. Otherwise, uh, I find that, you know, he tends to slide down in his seat. So yeah, and once you've got this whole thing put together like so, uh, it does look very impressive, I gotta say. Now, the Wind Raider has this fin on the back there that is sort of like movable, but I don't really see the point of doing that unless this thing's a fish. Um, also, the wings on the sides can be moved up and down like so, and these are a hell of a lot more sturdier than the original, okay? The original shit, I wouldn't even breathe on the wings, okay? You know, the, the plastic tabs that were holding them would just crack. Now, this thing has very smooth rolling action okay just very smooth you can just push it forward and backwards just forward and backwards over and over again uh i was thinking that rubber wheels would have suited it better but uh the plastic wheels seem to get the job done really well too now the wind raider has got one main feature and that's the grappling hook which shoots out from the front of the vehicle like so now, um, this feature is uh, it's pretty fun. It's, it's an iconic feature. And uh, once you've got the hook out, you know, all you need to do is wind it back into the machine uh, by, by turning the winch on the top like a knob. Both the winch and the hook 
uh, well, they, they're not really that heavy, okay? They feel kind of light, actually. Um, now, the grappling hook can also be used to take down lethal combatants, like Faker here. That's right. Just take them down. Take them down with lethal force. Pow! Just like that. Okay, now let's see if we can try something here. Uh, we can actually have the Wind Raider perched up on a high encampment and try and use the grappling hook to reel in uh, stuff that's at the bottom, you know, stuff that's supposed to be trapped or in need of saving, uh, like uh, like fallen heroes, okay? Like fallen heroes like Fisto here. Can he be saved, all right? Can we reel him up to safety? Um, I'm turning and turning this thing and nothing seems to be happening, okay? Fisto, are you okay? No! Help me! Save me! I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. <laughs> Nothing's happening, okay? This damn winch isn't strong enough uh, to reel in uh, figures, okay? Damn it! Now, the flight stand has a tap here at the end of it. Uh, this is where you actually place the wind radar through the slot at the bottom of the vehicle here. Just back it in there until you hear something click, all right? And uh, surprisingly, for something so small as the, uh, the the flight stand, it's actually quite small looking. It can actually support the weight of this enormous machine. Okay, so that's uh, that's reassuring after the disappointment with the grappling hook. Um, once it's on the stand, you can actually position the thing. You can have it uh, positioned downwards. Okay, like like as though it's diving down for attack. Okay, um, like so. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool addition. You can also have it facing upwards, like it's a shooting straight up for the stars. Okay, you can also turn it around, all right? You can see, turn it around. This thing is actually quite possible. Uh, the pack, the tab on the flight stand is possible. You can actually have it turned around and facing you in all directions. Okay, so that's a pretty cool feature. Now you can actually get this whole uh, section of the flight stand removed. Just pop it right out. And what you're going to do with that is have it placed uh, on the gun turret section of Castle Grayskull, all right? Just place the whole platform there. Um, find the, the slot that it goes in. Where is the damn slot? Okay, let's, okay. Just have it slotted there. Okay, make sure it clicks. And there you have it, okay? You have the Wind Raider perched atop Castle Grayskull. You know, you used to think there was just a talent fighter, but the Wind Raider as well, okay? And uh, they, they somehow managed to make this thing work, okay? It does look fairly huge, okay, uh, to be mounted on the castle like this. It's kind of like landing a 747 jet on your house or something like that. Um, and it is a bit heavy, I gotta say. Uh, the castle tends to tilt back a little bit, okay, when it's opened up like this and you've got the Wind Raider perched on top of it. But overall, I'd say that uh, it looks pretty good. Now, with the base of the flight stand now freed up, uh, I kind of thought that we could take the gun turret from Castle Grayskull and have it back there instead. Uh, but uh, it seems that the base of the gun turret is just not aligned with this thing, okay? Yeah, so that's kind of a missed opportunity there. Uh, it would have looked cool if these had some sort of interactivity. Okay, so the Wind Raider, um, definitely an iconic vehicle. It looks great on display. It has a lot of cool display options. But the uh, grappling hook and the winch feature is a major letdown for me. And that's like the main feature of this vehicle. If you think about it, the Wind Raider doesn't really have any other kind of offensive capabilities, right? It doesn't have lasers or anything like that. I don't see any guns in the front here. Nothing like that of the sort, okay? So it's primarily a, I don't know, scout recon transport vehicle. And that's it. You know, it takes you from one place to the other. Um, yeah, so, you know, it it kind of needed to do a little bit more, okay, with the grappling hook. Um, why is this end of the sticker peeling off here, all right? Look at that. You're going to have to be careful with that, okay? I mean, these are factory applied stickers. You see how some of the edges are already peeling off? Yeah. But you know what? Um, looking at this thing here, right, like straight on like this, this thing does look like a, like a bird of prey, okay? I don't know if I've noticed this before. It's like two eyes at the side there and a mouth in the middle. It's like a giant mechanical bird staring straight at you, coming for you, coming for your soul! <laughs> okay guys, so that's my review of the Origins Wind Raider. Um, you know, I was pretty excited to get this uh, and uh, having it in my hands right now, I will say that there is a lot of positives here, but the main disappointment for me, like I mentioned, is it's one single action feature. They really, 
kind of like uh, under delivered on that all right so <laughs> this is one thing that are you probably gonna have to decide for yourself you know i wonder if you guys are keen on getting this most of you probably already have okay but let me know in the comment section what you think about it you know i'll give you a rating of maybe six out of ten perhaps okay let me know what your rating is and do leave me your comments in the comment section below and of course stay subscribed to the channel guys thank you i'll catch all of you again real soon